Thank you for watching and uh, well, welcome back to the Lossy DBXL upgrade series that I'm doing. Uh, the first video that I did in this uh, upgrade series was about me uh, upgrading the servos. I had a bit of a problem with uh, one of the servos and also with uh, some of the servo speed and hold power. If you want to check that out, make sure to uh, have a look in the playlist. This video is going to be about uh, wheels and tires. I had a problem with these wheels right from the start. Not really because of the way that they perform, but uh, because of uh, future maintenance. These rims have a bit of a different layout. Uh, there were a few people who said, yeah, but you can just uh, switch out to uh, low scene HPI rims. That's true, but these rims, the rims that come on the DBXL, would not accommodate uh, a low C5 or an HPI Baja tire, uh, foam, beadlock, etc. So that's what I uh, was referring to. Could be because I'm Dutch that you didn't uh, fully get that. Uh, but you're stuck with this setup. So you're stuck with this rim, you're stuck with these bead locks, and you're stuck with these tires. That's something that I want to avoid in the future. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these out uh, for uh, HP Baja 5T front uh, size rims. Those are a bit narrower. That's also the type of rim that people uh, use on their uh, low C5Ts. And I got a few examples laying over here uh, that we will go over and have a look at. On the Baja 5B, which is the buggy version, you get a bit of a, of a wider uh, rim, which is uh, this one, for example. This one uh, is a stock HPI uh, rim with a stock HPI uh, sand paddle tire. These are really nice, have a lot of hookup. Uh, if you decide to uh, run it, turn it into a, a Formula off-road vehicle, for example, uh, these are the tickets. These also come in a 5T conversion, which are a tiny bit uh, higher. Uh, RC four-wheel drive also makes a set of uh, sand paddles, which have, I think, even better hookup than these. Uh, not just because of, uh, of the, the bigger diameter, but also because of the, the pattern layout. It's slightly different. So this could perhaps be an option. I'm not fully sure of this, uh, of uh, HPI Baja uh, 5B rears. I won't be using them, but I could test it out for you if you would like me to. Uh, these are the fronts that you get with those uh, uh, with those sand paddle rear tires. And these are completely pointless, of course, on a DBXL because it's a four-wheel drive car. These tires have no hookup at all. They're just to make a trace in the sand and make sure uh, you know what direction you are uh, going. On to these, these rims, uh, the tires on these rims are actually the, the stock low C5T tires. Uh, pretty decent tire, pretty decent uh, thread. And compared to the DBXL, massive quality difference, I must say. Uh, firm, the, they're, they're a lot firmer uh, than the rubber that you would find on the DBXL. I also found that uh, the, the tires on the DBXL were quite, uh, were ballooning quite hard. Uh, ballooning, you must know what I mean. That's when the tire expands to the size of a pancake or a pizza with, uh, with one uh, wheel off the ground. Uh, those tires are so soft that they really tend to do that. So I can imagine also with uh, putting uh, a bigger power plant in the DBXL, you would run into some issues with uh, those tires. Uh, the stock low C5T tires, great tire, uh, nothing against it. These are mounted on uh, an HBI Baja 5T uh, rim. Uh, these are fronts. Uh, and I added an additional uh, aluminium beadlock. There's a lot of uh, aluminium beadlock options out there. Uh, if that's your thing, try to just use them on the, on the outer beadlock and not on the inner. Because the inner part of the rim always has a tiny bit of flex. That's also really important if you, uh, if you bash hard and you take a big jump and you land, for example. You can imagine if this is an aluminium beadlock that it will just crack. Uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, meat, so to speak, around these uh, screws. So uh, just keep these plastic, uh, you will have more fun. Another super good tire uh, is this one. This is a, a Hostile uh, MXT. Hostile makes, uh, makes a wide variety of uh, tires. Uh, I got these for my uh, Baja 5T originally just because I wanted to have something that I could run on the ice. The Hostile MXT tire is the only tire in the world uh, in which you can put some uh, cold cutter screws. Beware of clones. Uh, I know that these tires have been cloned by uh, Chinese manufacturers. They're not the same quality at all. Uh, they don't have the same hookup. Uh, they don't have the same warranties. Uh, and 
for example, you cannot put a cold cutter screw in them uh, without it uh, exploding. These tires are RC4 drive Dune Reapers, I believe. Let me check because I haven't even mounted these yet. They're Dune Reapers. I managed to get a hold of these in uh, a sale, so I really I picked them up for a steal. I uh, got these from uh, TGN. They have a pretty realistic looking uh, thread pattern going on. And I just have these as a few sets of, uh, of spares. I'm uh, quite curious to go and uh, try them out. The compound on them is quite soft. So I can imagine that they have uh, some pretty good hookup. Uh, and apart from that, they look uh, quite cool. Those tires, the Dune Reapers, I have another Dune Reaper here. I will be uh, mounting those on uh, my Silverback Simeon rims. Silverback is also one of those uh, companies that uh, brings uh, fresh products to the table. This is, I think, one of the most scale looking rims that you can, uh, that you can buy for a Lozi or for a Baja. Uh, the Simeons come with, uh, uh, opening a bag here, they come with uh, scale looking what do you call them? Wheel, wheel bolts, wheel nuts. Uh, so that's all molded in, giving it a, a nice super scale look. Uh, you can tell from the uh, from the amount of webbing in the back. This is a this is a rim that will really hold up. And apart from just making these rims, uh, Neil, I know Neil personally. Uh, he also makes uh, these bead lock rings. So Hostile is also a company who produces bead lock rings. Uh, so it's a toss up between those two, uh, which ones you uh, prefer. Uh, I've never gone, uh, I've never had a bad experience with my silverback bead locks. They're a BVSL, they have a lip to uh, really uh, protect your, uh, your tire wall from uh, some impacts if you're uh, racing, for example, uh, or if you're an extreme basher. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, think work that went into these. Uh, Neil, the owner of Silverback RC, uh, like Rob, uh, the owner of Hostile, they're all uh, uh, really addicted to uh, RCs, to driving, to racing. So these are guys that uh, know what they're talking about, they know what they're doing, and their, their aim is really to keep bringing you the best stuff uh, available uh, in the hobby and uh, to make sure that you can have as much fun as possible for your money. However, the wheels and tires that I selected to put on the DBXL are these. These are uh, Proline Split Sixes. Uh, that's the rims with uh, some Proline uh, Trencher tires. Proline uh, makes the trencher tires for a lot of different vehicles, but they also make them for uh, cars like the, the Baja uh, 5T, uh, the Lozy 5T, and uh, in this case, the, the DBXL. I went for fronts just to make sure that I have no clearance issues whatsoever around the car. Uh, they're really cool. I think they're high. They have an extremely aggressive uh, thread pattern. I'm also running these on my Baja 5T currently. Uh, they've served me well. I know it's a quality product, lots of webbing going on, uh, it's tough as nails. So I'll be putting these on. If you, uh, I'll say that right away, if you want to, uh, if you want to score a set of rims, Proline has been uh, kind enough to supply me with a discount code. So if you uh, are in the checkout process of your order and you can give in a discount code, uh, if you type in Hemistorm 10, it will uh, save you 10% on your purchase. So that's uh, pretty cool of the people of uh, Proline. Let me take off the stock rims and tires uh, off the DBXL, uh, strip it down, uh, put these new rims on, uh, tighten the wheel nuts, and uh, let's see what it looks like. Well, that's done. A quick fix to uh, give your DBXL a completely different appearance. Uh, I think it looks way meaner this way instead of with those. Uh, I think they were quite odd looking, the, the stock rims. And it will also uh, give me a lot more options uh, in the future when I need to do some uh, wheel and tire maintenance. I can just switch it out for uh, whatever I want, for whatever is available on, uh, on the market. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, can't just go like this, of course. So, uh, Next video, I'll most likely be doing something to the body, some tweaking over there to, to make it look completely different. Uh, if you enjoyed watching it, uh, give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, suggestions on uh, what to do next uh, whatsoever, uh, hit me up in the comment box. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I hope to see you around.